Hi right, guys, um, we're back with another Discord GUI tutorial, and so I made a video on DM, DM, the DM command, where you, you know, you state your, state the message you want to send to somebody, and you ping the person, give, passing their ID or their name, and the bot basically sends the message for you. Now, the way I did it, it was like, it didn't look good, right? I didn't do it the correct way. Now, I'm gonna, now this is an updated video on how to do it, and hopefully, um, hopefully this teaches, it's pretty much the same thing, I just, I just do it a bit differently, but, um, you'll see. Any new people, um, do not watch my last video on this, it's just... I'm so dumb, but uh, I'll also be making a an announce command video because I might as well teach something else while I'm patching up my own mistake, right? So let's open up Sublime Text. Um, it's right over here. I would use Visual Studio Code, but as I said before, my PC is like incredibly slow, and I really don't wanna. Don't want to wait so long to open up Visual Studio Code. Now where is this testing? All right, let's go to testing.py. Uh, to any new people, I use Auto Shredded Bot because uh, it basically shards your bot automatically. <laughs> Just think of it as a way to make your bot faster, and I'll make I'll make a video on this. Think of it as a way to make your bot faster. Uh, when I do make the video, hopefully, um, hopefully it's, it teaches some people some values. Anyway, let's start off with the DM command. CTX. Now, of course, you can do this in any um any order yeah you can do it in any order so I usually do um, DM user discord user so I put user first because I just like to do it like that and then I do now before I did this and this is wrong it formats the message you want to send to the person badly and it, it's just it's not good so i'm gonna actually all i'm gonna do is just put a comma right here and this is gonna send the whole message it's gonna send the whole message i learned this like i learned this today i was just testing around and I learned it today, so, um, shit. Poggers, right? Um, anyway. Let me, okay, what is this message? Now, it's pretty, after that, it's just very easy. You can make an embed, but I'll do that for the, the next one. Uh, okay. Yeah, so await ctx, no, await user.send, I'm so used to using ctx.send, and all we have to do is just make an f string and do message, easy as that, um, very easy, so I'm gonna use the command and, well actually, let's do another thing, ctx, send just to make sure the message has been DM'd successful you always want to you always want to indicate that it's successful just to make sure so we're gonna save what is going on here 
Just delete that. I use this for other stuff rather than just YouTube videos, so okay. Damn, I thought I paused it. I guess I didn't. Um. All right, let's see. So, right. DM some caps. We're gonna DM. Um. Okay, you know what? I usually use my bot for this. I mean, I usually use my alt account for this, but. This is big brain time. This is big brain time. Watch this. Alright, I'm gonna run the code. Mm. So basically, I'm gonna make the bot DM me. Best way to prove that the command actually works. I don't know why. Okay. DM Sylvia. Okay. Hi, how are ya? <laughs> and uh, right, okay. Huh. Wait a second. <laughs> okay, so I tried doing it again and it worked, so I I don't know what happened there, but let's do it one more time and see what happens. So DM I'm gonna copy my ID. What's up G? And if we check over here yeah, so it it, it it sends the sends the message to the person. So very basic, very simple. Um, if you ever wanna send the complete message, just make sure to use this asterisk, the as the asterisk, and make sure to not do this and. God, to put a comma at the end. So I'm just gonna delete this. It works. Um, client command. Now let's do an announce command. It's pretty much the same thing. But instead of sending it to a user, we send it to a channel. The channel that is passed in. So um. So you you'll need to do this from this for the utils import get. You always want your imports to be over the actual code, so make sure to remember that. I know some newbies are watching my videos, but async def. Oh, let's see, let's see. What do we name? We'll name it announce. So CTX, and as I said before, I usually do it in a specific order, and this order is. Uh, channel discord dot channel message you could do m you could do message but but uh you know message so I always forget this um okay I'm gonna have to reset my token after this god Go down there. You know what? I'm not even gonna do an embed. 
you get the idea. You probably know how to make an embed anyways, so you'll do what you have to do the on on that department. So again, successful. Await channel that send. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, F string message. So yeah, pretty basic, pretty simple. Uh, let's put this to the test. I'm also gonna make another video. Um, I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna make a video on how to get your bot faster, as I said before, and I'm gonna make a video on. Well, I'll be damned. What is going on here? Uh, yeah, for all the new people who didn't watch the last video on this, this is basically what happened. I forgot to put a, put the comma, and it happened again. So, yeah, looks pretty ugly. You you don't want this. You don't want this when you're doing the announcements and the DMs, and you don't. So I'm just gonna put the comma right here. We're gonna press save and save. We're gonna fuck out of me. Python testing.py. No, I was gonna say that I had another video to do, but I, I forgot what I had to do. Literally forgot. I'm just gonna do it in this channel, so. Yeah. So yeah. Uh pretty much it. <laughs>